Howdy, my name is Vladimir Muni. And my name is Emily Neely. And we'll be talking to you today about Good Will Hunting. So a little background on the film. Matt Damon stars as Will Hunting with Ben Affleck as Chucky, who is his best friend. And they're both construction workers in South Boston, which is a poor neighborhood. And they have other jobs too, but their main job is construction workers. And fun fact, the movie actually won two Academy Awards. It's a terrific movie. So a little description on Will. He's in his early 20s, and he spent, he spent his life in and out of foster homes. And he falls in love with Skylar, a Harvard girl, but she is unfortunately a senior, and she's going to medical school in California. So, a little more on the plot. As a janitor at MIT, he solves an extremely difficult um, equation or problem on the chalkboard, and the professor finds, finds out that he did it, and he finds him, and he bails him out of jail because he's in... He gets arrested for assault, which is a recurring theme throughout his uh, childhood and young adult life. So the conditions for the bail are weekly therapy and studying mathematics with the professor, Professor Lambeau. And so through the therapy, he will has a chance to reevaluate his relationships with people in his life while encountering tax, tasks and experiences that confront his past and make him think about his future. So going into the psychological disorder to be diagnosed, um, it is uh, PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, and it is a mental health problem that some people develop after experiencing or witnessing a life-threatening event, and in this case, it is physical abuse. And the DSMV category is trauma and stressor-related disorders, and the symptoms of PTSD, they might not be, they might not be exactly the same for everyone, and um, each person experiences symptoms in their own way. So one of the, like, the most occurring ones are um, reliving the event, avoiding the situations that remind you of the event, so trying to avoid the people um, or situations that trigger trigger it, and having negative beliefs and feelings. So the event could alter the way how you think about yourself. It may change. Um, it may change um, due to the event. So um, you may experience feeling. Um, guilt or finding hard to be happy, you're not interested in the activities you used to enjoy, and also experiencing hyperarousal, so being jittery and alert all the time, um, trouble concentrating and sleeping, and getting angry very easily. So the, one of the supports for the diagnosis is um, the example of Will's relationship with Skylar. So his avoidant personality is shown by avoiding the chance for loving, love and happiness with this girl. And um, he doesn't want to be abandoned by love again. So in the past, he was abandoned by his biological parents and thrown into multiple foster homes where he has shown, um, he was shown no love and sympathy or concern. And he fears that this will hap happen again. And he also experiences having a hard time trusting and open up, opening up to people. And he's afraid of getting too attached and getting hurt in the end, which is why he refuses to believe that Skylar actually loves him and um, he gets upset over hearing the fact that she loves him. And the, we have a clip right there um, that shows this scene. And another example is um, Will having a negative outlook on the future. And Will is offered many job opportunities, such as a job to work for the NSA, but he passes many of them up. Um, and this is in fear of the future and the thought of the unknown and what's going to happen. Um, and he wants to stay in his comfort zone, the life he already knows, because he knows it's safe and he already knows how it works. And um, he's uh, he has a fear that he will not be successful and he doubts himself that he can't do it. And his inferior, inferiority complex is developed from his childhood as he was abused not just one time but throughout the years. And this ties in with Will's belief that he um, the abuse he has suffered was his fault. And this is common in children who have witnessed abuse. So a missing symptom he has is reliving the event, which is in his everyday life. Um, he doesn't really relive the event, but Robin Williams, his therapist, helps him relive the event to heal later in therapy. Next, some possible treatments. So it's a psychological cause, so psychotherapy or counseling would be the most probable treatment, which works in the movie, as we can see with Robin Williams, and antidepressants are also a possibility. We think that the PTSD is accurately portrayed in the film because it displays all the symptoms, um, but it's not the most common cause because we usually think PTSD, we think war, but it's still prevalent. So the movie also humanizes people with disorders in general because it makes you consider their history and think about why they act the way they are and makes you not judge a book by its cover as we support Will, the main character, throughout the movie. Thank you.